Oh my god, it finally happened! And I've never been more excited. Yes! I made a video a while back about Isabel being a character in Smash. I gave her a few moveset ideas, said she'd be likely to be an Echo, cause it was logical at the time. I didn't know they were gonna blindside me! Not only is she a brand new character with her own moves, and not an Echo, we also got a brand new Animal Crossing announced for 2019. I'm not gonna lie, it sucks to see so many people upset that a character I love so much got put into Smash Bros. But I know a lot of you out there are as excited as I am, so we can have the fun instead. Up top. So the best part here is that Isabel is not an Echo Fighter. She's got her own moves with different properties, different animations, and she doesn't even have the Epsilon symbol next to her fighter number. Whoever is number 69 is just never gonna live it down. Seeing as I'm the aficionado that I am, I wanted to break down the move list here and give my thoughts on it, cause I'm gonna be real. I know I said I was playing Young Link, but he's dead to me now, sorry buddy. I got exactly what I wanted. All right, let's start off with what normals we actually got here. Because there's no official gameplay yet, we only have the trailers to go off of. I'm gonna go over all of the moves here and then give my thoughts at the end. Neutral air is the pom-poms, which is just a little spin in the air, and up tilt is a broomstick. She's still gotta do some secretarial duties. While it may look like a taunt to some, the stop sign here is actually an up smash. She's all about safety in the town and YOU SHOULDN'T BE RUNNING! The side smash is the classic party popper, cause she really wants to celebrate your demise. I suggest you do the same. Down smash is a quick water bucket. Not much to say here, it's just a bucket. I don't have a joke. It's a bucket full of water. It swishes side to side. Leave. There's also this image of imminent death dropping upon Mario's soul. It looks like a forward tilt. Plus, she's still just a little clumsy in her dash attack where she drops a flower pot. Now let's move on to the special moves. Up special is the classic swing with some bunny balloons on it. And she even covers up afterwards cause she knows what you've been doing. One of the most interesting moves here is not a grab, but a side special, the fishing rod. It lets you throw someone into a different direction, but her actual grab is still the butterfly net. So she actually has two different grabs. Luckily, she can still take everything you know and love and throw it back at you with the pocket ability. Down Special taps into her inner metal oh, gear and plants a gyroid mine that'll send people up into the sky. Now moves aside, her animations are super expressive. With each move or movement she makes, she's got something different. Whether it be a big smile, a surprise, a cheer, or some sadness, she's got it ready for you. Her opening animation is her finally taking a step out of the mayor's office onto the battlefield. Isabel said work! She's got a taunt where she dances on your grave, a fist pump, a nub, pump, and even a stretch because she's tired of kicking your ass. Overall, I could not be happier with this character. I thought she was gonna be an Echo, and I was blown away. Her moveset looks very interesting, and I hope we can have some clarity in the near future on stuff that's missing. Competitively, and as a fighter, from what I've seen so far, it can go one of two ways. She'll either be a really good character, depending on how the frame data is for some of these moves in order to be an overall better villager, and whatever moves we see in the future will help add on to that aspect, or she'll go into the, guys, she has potential, I swear she wins this matchup pile. Imagine her being somewhat of a jack of all trades, where you have some basic combat skills, you can place the gyroid mind trap, you can space people out, and then throw a fishing line off stage just to make it worse on the opponent's recovery. I feel like there's a lot to work with here. Almost like a different version of Villager with its own twist. Another Falco and Fox situation. So instead of being a more spacing and projectile based character, she could instead be more in your face while also placing traps and setting stuff up here and there. Seems like she got a confidence boost from finally leaving the office. Judging by how some of these moves work, I think there's a lot of potential for cool stuff when playing as her. And I'm extremely excited. Ultimate's not out yet though, so who knows anything about how a character plays just by looking at it. But who cares, she could be F tier and I'm still gonna be the best Isabel player! What are your thoughts? Are you as excited as I am? Let me know your thoughts on Isabel and Smash down below, cause I know I'm set. I wanna give you a big thanks for watching. And here's to more Smash news in the future. I'll see you guys next time.